All right, you're looking at a uh, life-saving operation going on on Interstate 24 right now. This is over by Old Hickory Boulevard, and uh, they're trying to extract a woman from a car. She may be an expected mom in this case, so obviously firefighters are using uh, extreme caution at this point and going at the fastest possible speed to keep that woman safe and get her some medical attention. That's a picture from the News 2 First Alert Unit, and so our thoughts are there this morning. These are the eastbound lanes of Interstate 24, so these are lanes taken you from Nashville down toward Rutherford County this morning. Quite the response there. So uh, fingers crossed that she's going to be okay. We'll get Jerry coming up in just a little bit. More on that in just a few moments. Yep. Good morning. I'm Don Davenport. Neil Orn. Glad you're waking up with us. Also coming up in the next 30 minutes, uh, Dining Dash. You hit the streets, checked out some That's of right. our health inspection scores. That's right. That's right. Um, and there's more to the Bat Kid story down in San Francisco. Um, was it a hundred that five thousand dollars well spent? Uh, I say yes. I say yes too. <laughs> okay. It just blew up on Twitter. I mean, there's so many people that said the it story just makes me smile. It restored our faith in the fact that we can yeah. come together for uh, one of our smaller kids healing from cancer. Exactly. So, let's go over to Justin. Justin, thanks. We appreciate that. So this is the uh, breaking news from the first alert unit, and this is the uh, crews now working to uh, get this woman pinned in her car. Um, we believe an expectant mom is as the report we get from the scene there. Uh, Jerry Barler on the scene. This is 24 eastbound at Old Hickory Boulevard. Jerry, why don't you give us a uh, rundown of what's going on here? Jerry, I can't imagine a first responder walking up to a wrecked car like that and seeing that the, uh, they may have an ex expected mom that they have to extricate. And looking for your video, uh, of course, no blame assigned in this case as of uh, yet, but it appeared the driver of the pickup was uh, beside himself sitting on the railing while they did their work to extricate that woman. He was. He was sitting on the railing, and at one point he just went down to his knee, and I was standing just a few feet away and could see him as he knelt and He's prayed, praying. and then he got up and he did a crucifix across his chest. Uh, so a pretty dramatic scene here this morning. Yeah, it gave me the chills actually seeing that. Uh, Jerry, we appreciate the update from Old Hickory Boulevard there, and of course we wish the best for all involved. New development since we have been on the air after a man was stabbed to death in some woods behind the uh, CVS pharmacy. Big kind of change of events here. Uh, the weapon was a machete-like object as we understand it. Yeah, this happened in the area behind the CVS on South Gallatin Pike in Madison. Police brought the suspect back to the scene a short time ago. Heather Jensen's been following this all morning long. Good morning, Heather. A Tennessee football coach out of a job after trying to motivate his team by vandalizing their own facility. Marion County High School football coach Mac McMurray resigning after two of his assistants defaced the school's field house. They tried to make it look like the work of the team's rival, South Pittsburgh. A third assistant reportedly stole the rival's playbook. Good example for those kids at that school. McCurry also resigning from his job as a phys ed teacher. Two of the assistant coaches are facing criminal charges. Marion County, by the way, they're still in the playoffs. They take on Trousdale County tomorrow night in the high school playoffs. No word on who will be coaching these kids. The Capitol Christmas tree makes a stop in Middle Tennessee on its way to Washington, D.C. This was over the Cool Springs Galleria. Lindsay Lawler and Diamond Rio performed, put people in the holiday spirit there. The 88-foot Engelman Spruce is making its way to the Capitol from Colville National Forest in Washington State. 88 feet. Yeah, for some of the um, needles fell off, you could gather them up and have a piece <laughs> of the Capitol Christmas tree at home. You could. Making the great aroma. You could probably make a mini Christmas tree out of that. <laughs> yes. Uh, the folks Large. down at the, um, we're downtown talking about how one uh, establishment's success draws others down there as well. So I'm sure all the other owners of restaurants down there are happy that Tootsie's is throwing a 53rd birthday bash. 53 years. Yeah, it's closed off down there on Broadway because they're getting all set up for the stages and everything that opens up at 2 o'clock. A party on a Thursday? Uh, duh. I like it. Yeah. Transformation that is positively Tennessee from an old cigar warehouse to one of Nashville's most artistic hotspots. Oz is now open to the public. No wizards or yellow brick roads here, just a place that you'll want to visit. This morning, Stephanie Langston live to tell us just what Oz is. Morning, Steph. I can't wait to get over and see that building. Yeah, and, and all the video that we show it just looks amazing there. Yeah, there are so many spots in Nashville like that too, where the uh, the old factory buildings and stuff that are being converted there. We have the old car building being transformed. It's really wonderful to see. And a lot of those buildings have so much space, so there's so much you can do with it. Like he said, you know, a blank canvas, so you can do anything yeah, in this space. A little space. more bang for your buck, a lot of room. Yeah spread out <laughs> do artsy things <laughs> there you go you Justin. have to go down there and throw a pot or something what do you think about that oh yeah get on the uh, the pottery wheel 
Get some clay. Sure. <laughs> Relive that scene in Ghost. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> when you say pottery, that's but unfortunately you could, you what could comes. You creep out any moment. Uh, rainfall tracker. <laughs> It was dry yesterday uh, for the month. I don't know why that came to mind, but I just did. I'm sorry. Happening now, wrapping up a wreck on the southeast side. A very dramatic scene just about 45 minutes ago. Our own Jerry Barler in the first alert unit was on the scene of this. This is Old Hickory Boulevard, exit 62 off of 24th. Right there at the end of the off ramp is where this was. Yeah, that's your picture of the investigation that's ongoing right now from the first alert unit. It looked like the truck T-boned the car somehow. It happened around 530. But it was when we heard that there was an expectant mom in the car that was T-boned that this got ratcheted up somewhat and the crews were working mm -hmm. feverishly to get her out. Firefighters worked for, it took about 15 minutes, but boy, it seemed like two hours. Yeah, she was transported with non-life-threatening injuries, so that is the good news. Um, let's, can we roll the video? We've seen uh, the live picture. Can we roll the video from earlier? Yeah, we're going to get that in just one moment there. But it's the video from earlier that you'll see the crews working on the damaged car. And then you'll see the driver of the pickup truck as well as he kneels down in prayer for that woman who was being extricated. That's the driver of the pickup truck on the guardrail. Uh, she's being taken out of the car in the background there. And he gets down and kneels right there. Um, we don't know the circumstances behind the crash. We don't know who is at fault in the crash. We just know that uh, these lives crossed paths this morning, and uh, it was just a very touching moment. We hope everyone's going to be okay. So, Jerry reporting from the scene that it looked like uh, the expected mom was in good condition and was going to be okay from the initial assessment there. So, good news.